Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Three Point Lane with Mate Dav and Jacob, who's on my left. Let's start off with you, uh, Jacob. Yep. How are you feeling, my friend? Well, let's just say the first, I think, 15 minutes, we've got to get it over the way, out the way. I mean, I thought we was going to get battered to them, and it was completely the opposite round. They, they scored, and the way they were playing, I'm like, are we going to lose, like, 4-5-0 to Tottenham? But then, you know what? These players, they did all right, and we put a good performance together. Um, yeah, it wasn't perfect, like, but I guess... We, we, we've won 4 1 against Tottenham, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I thought Sterling did all right. I don't think he was amazing. I thought there's a couple of times where he could have just done another pass, but I think with Sterling, I think he played quite well today, to be fair. And not that pace down the wing yeah. showed. I don't know why people aren't giving him more credit. I thought he did a really good job. But to be fair, it's annoying when he does well because when he does bad, we're, we're all like, well, Sterling's normally good when no, he's inconsistent, but he's played one game. So I'm not going to get over ahead of himself and say, oh, Sterling's our best player or anything like that because he's not. Um, Palmer gave a fight today, um, like usual. Uh, Gallagher's all right. So there's nothing really to complain about. Jackson got the third hat trick ever at White Hart Lane, Chelsea away. Um, for I think the first one was Hasselbank and someone else. But yeah, the end of the day, I think that was the easiest hat trick ever scored in history. But you know what? We take we take it. We take the win. And yeah. Love it. I mean, Matt, how are you feeling? I, 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 you weren't feeling great, mate. What's going no, on? No, I was having it until the last five minutes of the game. I don't know what happened. I've got the fucking worst migraine. Even right now, it's fucking. But. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, though. <laughs> Same old Tottenham, always losing. <laughs> cool. I mean, what do you think, Matt? First mate, of all, pre-match, pre-match was good, mate. Like, yeah, before the game, yeah, but mate, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I know we won, but that was fucking stressful as fuck. That game, I've never been so stressed, mate. It's first fifteen minutes, I was like, this is a dive. Getting calls from you, you know, in my phone. Second half, hey. Where's all the Tottenham fans calling me up in the first half? There's nothing in the second half. Fucking hell, man. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself because Chelsea dick in your ass is bad for your health. <laughs> oh, I've got a headache. Oh, Honestly. Still a good sense of humour, though. Yeah, yeah, it's just about. But fucking, yeah, it was stressful. But <laughs> as soon as that last fucking... That last 20 minutes, yeah, oh. absolute buzzing. And so I was sitting right next to the away, all the away fans. Were... Look at me, I saw you giving it to a 15 year old. Oh, yeah, fuck that little div, mate. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> little div, mate, on a mouth off all game to me, mate. He needs to fuck off back to his fucking trophy cabinet. Oh, yeah, he don't have one. We do. See you later. Fucking oh. absolute div. Oh, fuck. Are you going to have a beer after this? I don't know, mate. I think I need a fucking water. My head is still fucking pounding this. <laughs> Honestly. Oh. Um, Jacob, mate. I mean, what did you think about the starting lineup? Because we didn't, we didn't start off well. It was really only when when we scored yeah. that things started to go in a good direction. But I mean, can you see progress? Um, yeah. But then, to be fair, we do do better against the bigger teams, more than open teams. But so I'm not going to get ahead of myself. But I think that it was. Like, overall, good performance. The lineup was, I mean, to be fair, Cold Water left back's a little bit, I'm not sure about I that. I didn't get that. I thought Kukurea. No, no, for me, that was a no, no brainer. You don't like, like Colwell's got guaranteed starts in that team. Like, I don't know what was said before he joined when he signed that contract, but oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure he wants to be playing every game. And I feel like he would have been a, just from morale. Yeah, it's, not, it's not Mbappe, it's, it's Le Levi Colwell, mate. Oh, no, like, he's not got the power. The like, manager should have. He was a high prospect, and a lot of teams wanted him in the course, summer. So, course. and I feel like we've got him here, and as well, he hasn't done bad at left back. And don't get me wrong, he ain't no Cucurella at left back, and Cucurella needs way more respect than him. He's fucking. I uh, since that Wimbledon game, thank you United for bottling it again for another signing you could add because Cucurella's been fucking quality, mate. He like, has, man. really, really good. Like, I, I don't even want to get rid of him next year. Well, when you play him in the right position, yeah, you know, it's, it's there's master. no reason not really? to do it. Um, Cucurella this season has done well at left back and right back. Like Cucurella is a player that I think maybe do, maybe he does need the time. Like I don't know what you're moaning about him, but at the end of the day, he is still he's still relatively young. Like I think that 
Cucurella's progressed as a player. And fair enough, because I don't think he was like great before this season. But fair enough, you've you, you've realised your mistake and you've changed it. So I've got no complaints, Cucurella. I'm good. Good. Don't have to go and spend even more money on a full back. To be fair, That's I mean, it, yeah. to be fair. I think I think we, we we've already crashed the market anyway. I don't think we need to crash it even more. Yeah, I mean, just just to finish off, guys. I mean, wh wh where do you see things going up until Christmas time? Obviously, we start well, off against Man we, well, City. Well, this was meant to be a hard fucking run of games, and we've managed to fucking squeeze something out of this game. All right, Brentford weren't the best, but we've got two hard games, and be our two of hardest games. We've squeezed something out of. Like, if we can get, if we can squeeze a draw out of Man City as well. There's no reason why we get run past these hard games, and then next we know we have an easier run. Because right at the end of the season, we've got a sweep. Tottenham at the end of the season have got a really, really hard run, so them losing to Chelsea today, it ain't no fucking benefit for them, yeah. 4-1. I just want to add on that, at the end of the day, the hard games are kind of, the, looks like maybe the easier games for us, so I think when we're through these hard games, I think we're probably going to miss them, but I think that, look, there's no guarantee we're going to go and get three points against it. At the end of the day, Tottenham were only had nine men so and to be fair we still for about 10 minutes when they had it looked pretty average but look City it's kind of hard one to predict but I think if as long as Kyle Palmer keeps going we um we do I think we do what we did right but we don't do what we did wrong if that makes sense but I just think that at the end of the day just because we won 4-1 against Tottenham, I mean, Tottenham haven't got Champions League. They're not as... Yeah, they, look, they're top of the league, but I don't think it's, like... At the end of the day, they don't win trophies. I think 4-1 isn't enough to say we're going to get top four or anything, but I think it just... It sets a positive... Like, it sets positivity out there, and I think that's what is really important. And I think it's important just to have a good mindset. Like, after this game, the fans are going to be even more supportive, and then that's going to drive the team even more. I think this is, this could be, like, a plant. Like it's starting to grow in, like starts to be growing and getting better. The end of the day. of our life before it all ends. Four one easy tonight. Stay close to me. Tottenham get better. Four one tonight. <laughs> um, the, yeah, at the end of the day, good performance, we move on and I think these games are going to be a little bit unpredictable, whether last season it was just like the fan comes, you literally could have just copied it, changed the name and it would be like the same result and it was, but now we're, bu we're building on it, we're having a better season than last season, generally, so I think we need to move on, enjoy and yeah. That's it, Jacob. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have anything you want to finish off with, Matt? Go on. Nah, I'm stress free now, and Tottenham, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Three point lane, back at it again. Subscribe, go watch the vlog. What a day.